Hi guys and welcome. This is me, JB Rose, singing Vegan the Mom. How are you all doing out there? How are you coping with lockdown? I hope you're doing really, really well. So today I'm going to make some breakfast muffins. Really easy, simple ingredients. Now you know what I'm going to say. Before I even start, please hit that like button right now. Share, tell everybody about me, tell everybody about JB Rose, singing Vegan Mum. I'm a singer, I'm a vegan, I'm a mum and I got music coming out very, very, very soon. So please tell everybody about me, okay? And don't forget to watch to the end because I always show a little bit of what's happening in my life. So guys, breakfast buns. Oh, so guys, breakfast muffins. Sometimes you might get bored of just eating the same things for breakfast every morning. I am making some breakfast muffins and of course you know my breakfast muffins are going to be a bit more healthier than most people's of course i'm going to have instead of normal sugar i'm going to have coconut sugar but you can also use agave or maple sugar but i'm using coconut today i think that's it oh and i'm going to add pomegranate in this. so i'm making breakfast muffins with pomegranate seeds that's what it is let's get into it guys let's get into it such an easy recipe guys so this is 100 grams or one cup of my organic porridge. Now, what I did was put that in the blender and blend it. You don't have to. You could just put it out the same way as this. Another 100 grams or one cup of spelt flour or whole wheat flour. This is whole wheat flour. Then I have, as you can see, my coconut sugar. You know I'm a big fan of my coconut sugar. This is a quarter cup of uh, coconut sugar and then I have a handful of raisins now I like raisins a lot I like to taste the sweetness somewhere so this is a handful of raisins and then some cinnamon maybe a teaspoon a teaspoon of baking powder so it gets nice and fluffy and I'm going to just mix our dry ingredients together this is going to be done so quickly you won't believe it i'm going to add a quarter cup of oil some vanilla because vanilla is nice a teaspoon or so of vanilla a little bit of himalayan salt just to give it bring out the flavors not too much just a little bit take the seeds out of this I'm scraping out the seeds. This is quite a big pomegranate, so it's got loads of seeds in them. But look, look at all that, look at all those seeds. It's gonna take a minute to get everything out. Oh, then I'm gonna add my pomegranate seeds to the mixture. And then finally, one cup of whatever your plant milk is. This, for me, is a uh, coconut milk. But you can use almond if you like. And then you're just gonna mix it all up. So this should be enough for 12 breakfast muffins. Get one of these. This is your ice cream scoop. Oh. And then just flop them in there. Like the yellow of the sun makes the grass grow green and strong. And the pale blue of the sky red her love so guys, I forgot my chia seeds and I forgot my linseed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle it on top. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Never too late for these things. And then my linseed is better in, but I'm going to again sprinkle it on top. I forgot, but if you can put it in the mixture, it's better, all right? Just to get the crunch, I'm going to sprinkle the coconut sugar on top as well. So it's going to be crunchy. <laughs> 30 minutes in the oven. Now, before I taste, I wanted to share with you something that I actually showed on my IGTV. So, last 
last week I went to my dad's on Sunday, we had a great time, I gave him his dinner, blah, 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 blah. He was happy, he was in good spirits. All of a sudden, my dad starts to speak, yeah, and starts saying things. And I've got to say, it was quite disturbing. Let me show you what he said. My father-in-law, mm -hmm. when he heard that um, your mother had five children, three boys and two girls, he, he thought more or less he could ask to get one of the girls because he was living alone in Jamaica with his wife one of the girls to come and live with him and they would bring her up, his, uh, bring you up in school and join that side of the family Do you get it? Basically, he said that they were going to ship me off to Jamaica and leave me in some dark, dark place never see a car, never see nothing just in case you missed it, let me show you. And it was me, I was the choice. You was the choice. <laughs> Why me? <laughs> well, well, there was a big one. Right. So, is a smaller one. Well, the, the, the man says, ask for one of the girls. Then, guess what? It was laughing. <laughs> yeah, but it's deep, deep country, you know? So, I'd be some deep country girl. Definitely. You wake up in a nice. You hear the frogs. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks this is a joke. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, Well, why me? Why? There's five children. This is what he was saying. My sister, firstborn child, you can't give away the firstborn child. My brother Michael was next. He's the first boy. We can't give away the first boy child. Okay, so we jumped down to the little ones. My brother Peter, oh the baby, your mum would never give up the baby. So Peter, you know him as Pete Andrew, no, he's going to stay. My brother Paul, who's before Peter, oh your mum have a special relationship with Paul because she was very sick with Paul, you know, so, so no, that would have been a no. I'm the middle child, so I was going to be a contender. They would have ripped me from my London life, my family, and sent me to the bushes, look, I've got nothing against Jamaica, I've got nothing against my people, right? But why me? Why me? Yeah? No one's got a special relationship with me. I'm not the firstborn, I'm not the lastborn, I'm not the sick child. They were coming for me. You can find out more about it if you go to my IGTV, follow me on Insta, then you will see me and my dad getting up to stuff. But really, I'm quite traumatized. If I was sent to Jamaica when I was a little girl, you may have never known JB or singing a vegan mum. What would I have become? Anyway, enough of that. They love me. They did not send me to Jamaica on my own and leave all my siblings. So now, it's the taste test. You can wrap it up and it can last for three days or you can let it cool and put it in the freezer and take it out whenever you want it. Time for the taste test. I put yogurt with mine and I sprinkled a little bit more pomegranate seeds on. I haven't eaten all day, that's why I added yogurt. And because it's like a breakfast muffin, the yogurt goes beautifully. But I'm going to hold them up and it's still quite warm, which is delicious. I'm going to try it. Mm. The top is lovely and crunchy. And it's just sweet enough. And you can taste the cinnamon and the fruit and then the crunchiness of the pomegranate. Really delicious, really healthy. So if you're getting bored of eating your normal porridge but you still want to keep it healthy, you still want to keep it good, try my breakfast muffins it's really simple and it's really really easy don't forget to like and subscribe and share guys share my lovely recipes with your family and your friends i'm going to be back very very soon please look after yourself please be safe i will see you again take care remember for healthy vegan recipes i'm your girl i'm your girl Rainbow lover, come to me.